everyone. In this problem, we have a hot air balloon that's rising straight up from a level field. So let's say this is our field, and our hot air balloon is rising up. Um, and it's being tracked by a range finder that's 500 feet from the point of liftoff. So here's where it lifted off. Let's say this is our range finder. So this is our 500 feet, and that's fixed. I don't think the range finder is moving in this one. Um, at the moment, the rangefinder's uh, elevation angle is pi over 4, so elevation is always up from horizontal. It's increasing by 0.14 radians per minute. We're supposed to figure out how fast the balloon is rising. Okay, so we know that when this angle, which is changing, so I'm going to give it a name, we know that when theta is equal to pi over 4, d theta dt is equal to 0.14 radians per minute. You don't technically have to write the radians, but I don't want to lose track of what my time units are. How fast is the balloon rising? So I'm going to call this h, and we're looking for dh dt. Okay, so formula relating theta to h and 500, this is going to be a tangent. Tangent theta is h over 500. Um, okay, so we know a theta and a d theta dt, so I am just fine with thetas continuing to show up even after I take the derivative. We're looking for dh dt. We don't have h, so I don't want h's to show up. So actually, this is pretty good. If you want, you can multiply by the 500, but it's not necessary. Certainly not terribly hard to take the derivative with it there. But if we do, we get a 500 secant squared theta, d theta dt, equal to dh dt. And we know that theta is pi over 4. I'm going to make this secant into a 1 over cosine squared, because then I think I can actually figure that out fairly easily. And then this is 0.14 d theta dt. Okay, so let's think about this. Cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over the square root of 2, or root 2 over 2, whichever way you think of that. Uh, so if we square it, we're just going to get 1 half. So this is 500 divided by 1 half. Dividing by 1 half is the same as multiplying by 2. So we actually have... 1,000 times 0.14, which means we're going to get 140, and that's the height, so that should be in feet per minute. All right, thanks for watching.